Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today on this 18th day in a month of metal. The band I'm talking about today is In Flames. I first heard In Flames in 2002 with Reroute to Remain, that album. Um, I really loved it. I went back and I got their older stuff and I wasn't as much of a fan. In fact, their first couple albums I didn't care for that much. It was just too heavy for me. I wasn't listening to any death metal at the time. Their stuff was just a little bit too rough, too raw for me. Um, so on Lunar Strain, yeah, I didn't care for it at all. Uh, the Jester's Race, though, I enjoyed the instrumentals, but not really the vocals. So on that, I would listen to the Jester's Dance, Acoustic Melody, Moon Shield. I really liked that part of their melody but again the vocals just weren't there for me so i didn't really listen to those albums much at all horacle episode 666 worlds within margins and the depeche mode cover of everything counts those are my favorite songs off of that one colony which came out in 1999 i enjoyed that a little bit better uh ordinary story embody them visible and colony but again not a big fan Clayman, though, was a lot better. Only for the week. I uh, love that song. It's one of those songs I play often. That's in my rotation all the time. Pinball, pinball Map, pretty good. And World of Promises, which is a cover by Treat. But it wasn't until Reroute to Remain where I started really becoming a fan. Off of that album, I really liked Cloud Connected, Trigger, and Metaphor. Soundtrack to Your Escape was the next album. And another really good album, uh, The Quiet Place, Touch of Red, my Sweet Shadow. Um, really love that one. Uh, that one takes me back to, I was, that's one kind of around the time I first met my wife, second wife, and uh, we listened to that a lot. We were living in South Carolina, heard that album a bunch. Uh, Come Clarity, another big favorite of both of ours. Uh, Come Clarity, Take This Life, Crawl Through Knives. I also wanted to mention on that one, uh, the, Your Bedtime Story is Scaring Everyone. Um, I was listening to that a lot. It's mostly instrumental, um, but I was listening to that a lot when I was writing Brightside, and it really, um, it really affected the way one of my scenes turned out. It was supposed to be, it was a confrontational scene between this guy Joe and his girlfriend at the time. Um, a bed, they were in bed, uh, but it got crazy. From listening to that, I don't know if it was like the darkness or, or whatever, or just maybe just the title itself, but I had it on, I was playing it over and over and over, and it completely changed that scene. It turned it into something a little bit more violent, a little bit darker than I wanted, so I had to go back, completely rewrite that scene. Um, but that's when I started realizing how much listening to music in the background could affect my writing and why I'm very careful with what I'm exposing myself to. But another cool thing about that song that sparked a story that's in here in 25 Perfect Days. The story you sparked is called One Last Bedtime Story. And it's kind of a scary one. It's a disturbing story. Uh, one of my favorites from the book. And uh, it was inspired by that song. Uh, the next album, uh, Sense of Purpose. Love that album. Uh, the Chosen Pessimist. A slower, longer song. But that's one of my favorites of theirs. Alias and Delights and Angers. Uh, Sounds of a Playground Fading, Deliver Us, I really like that a lot. The rest of the album, I just wasn't a giant fan. I wasn't listening to it that much. Uh, Where the Dead Ships Sail, Fear is the Weakness, Sirens Charms, after that, 2014. Again, that's not an album that I listened to a whole bunch. Uh, but off of that one, Rusted Nail, When the World Explodes, Through Oblivion. Um, Battles in 2016, I like The End, The Truth, Save Me, those are my top songs, but my favorite album is I, The Mask, which is what came out last year. That's pretty incredible for a band to be around that long and still to be putting out really, really good music. I think this is probably their best album, uh, it's the one I like the most. So off of the here, order of songs that I like the most would be I Am Above, we Will Remember, Follow Me, This Is Our House, Call My Name, Stay With Me. One of the things I like about this album too is like I listen to it with my kids. Uh, they all love it. My wife really likes their music. So as soon as touring is back, uh, In Flames is definitely one of the bands that we're going to be checking out. I don't believe I have seen them live yet. Or if I did, I saw them in a, like a festival type setting and don't remember it. So perhaps they're not that huge of an influence on me uh, in my writing, but I did listen to them a 
bunch, especially 2005, probably 2005 to 2010, I was listening to them all the time. And now with the new album, definitely have that playing a lot. So thanks to Inflames for all the great music. Uh, yeah, super impressed with the last album. Can't wait to see what is next. All right, guys, that's it for today. Tomorrow, I will be talking about the mighty Metallica. So stick around for that and stay metal. Later.